Good morning, everybody. Uh, back again with another video. Uh, this morning, I kind of wanted to lighten it up a little bit with a cornball joke to start this awesome video off. Uh, goes like this. Why did the invisible man turn down the job offer? I'll give you a second to think about that. <laughs> well, when they asked him, he just said he just couldn't see himself doing that. Yeah, okay. Anyway, uh, this morning, I, what's on my mind is... Uh, we're having a situation with our cars, our family vehicles. Uh, <clears throat> we've got uh, our family car that's recently paid off, so don't have that payment anymore. Daughters, my youngest daughter, she's a senior in high school this year, so uh, she's driving, uh, you know, just a cheaper car back and forth to school. Uh, and, uh, we had a situation with it where the motor's kind of acting up in it a little bit and took it to the parts house and had, had it put on a computer, you know, to try to figure out what was going wrong with it. And, uh, I, had, I don't know, there was a few of these sensors that were bad, changed the sensors and it still runs like crap. So. Uh, I think it's probably best just to get rid of it while it will, while it will still even crank over, you know, and run. So, but we're kind of looking around at used cars for, and what we're discovering is that, uh, for some reason, everybody seems to think that these cars don't lose any value. And you always hear the second you drive them off the lot, you know, they depreciate $5,000 or whatever. So if you take a car that's got 160,000 miles on it, how can a car lot still be trying to get 10, 13,000? You know, uh, honestly, on a car like that, it's my opinion that... Uh, this is just my opinion, of course, that uh, if you paid a thousand dollars a year, you know, say you bought a five thousand dollar car, well, I would kind of want it to work at least be half ass dependable for five years. I mean, it's it's kind of uh, I don't know if what's happening is uh maybe everybody's you know when they buy a vehicle most people are upside down on the thing they're paying way more than what it's worth to begin with well then if they do end up keeping it long enough to pay it off uh then they want to try to recoup some of their money but i gotta tell you folks you gotta wake up because these cars are not worth what you're never going to get your money back. At some point, people got to understand that that just needs to be written off as a loss. It's not, you know, I, I mean, that's coming from a buyer perspective, of course, because I want a good deal. But at the same time, I spent a lot of time in my 45 years so far paying for vehicles that, you know, uh, just throwing money at it and I and I've come to realize I don't know why everybody else can't that it's just one of those things and in, in the way the society is and the way the world is we have to have them to get around and we need to look at it as we're paying for that not we're paying for a priceless gym because they deteriorate and you know if I just want to encourage people that if you're if you have a vehicle like that you know a used car that's paid off that you don't use and you decide you want to sell it 
don't try to make your money back. Try to help somebody else out. I mean, my gosh, at some point, you've overpaid for the vehicle. Just know that and accept it. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of young kids that can't go out and buy a brand new car, you know, like my daughter, uh, she has a job, but it's after school. So she don't really make enough to, to go invest in a brand new automobile or a car or whatever you want to call it. Uh, so, you know, I think everything I've looked at, you can go to a private seller, you know, which is an individual selling their car and get a little bit better deal. But these car lots, you know, if you don't want to sit around and wait to find the right one from a person out in the public, uh, you, you go to a car lot. These car lots are, are just a damn joke. And I'm, I can't believe that, you know, they're even trying to make money on them things. It's just, you know, they, they take them as trade-ins. Well, then they, they think they're going to recoup their money and, we need, we as consumers just need to stop giving into it because it's just feeding the snowball. This thing gets worse and worse every year. So just, you know, if we'd all start using our heads and quit taking it up the rear end every time we turn around, this might be a little better, easier process to buy a used vehicle. Uh, I don't know. I, it just soured me this morning and in the last few days and i just uh kind of wanted to vent about it a little bit i guess uh but these cars you know they're just not not supposed to last us a lifetime so we just need to all start realizing that we're just giving our money away to <clears throat> to get from point a to point b and and least we could do is start trying to help the young people who who don't have the means to go and buy a new car uh i don't know maybe that comes from a sour part of my part of me or something but anyway it just seems reasonable that you know we we would just learn how to accept the facts you know uh, it's like, like I was saying, our car, our family car now is paid off. Well, I, you know, by the time it was paid for, I way overpaid for it. And I realized that I'm not going to recoup my money. I enjoyed the car while I had it and, or I still have it, but, uh, we just got to learn people anyway. Uh, just had to vent a little bit, but I appreciate you watching. Uh, just want to ask you to like and subscribe to this channel and uh, tune in. I'll uh, try to put some more stuff out. Thank y'all.